There are several classifications of warships, such as corvettes, frigates, destroyers, and cruisers. These classifications are generally related to the size of the vessel, with corvettes being smaller and less armed, with frigates occupying an intermediate position, while destroyers and cruisers are at the top of the list in relation to displacement and armament. However, technological evolution and the miniaturization of systems are allowing smaller ships to be increasingly armed, and can even surpass larger ships, as is the case with the SAR-6, the most powerful corvette in the world. The SAR-6 is a class of German corvettes, of which four units were built for the Israeli Navy. Despite being corvettes, they are the largest ships in the Israeli Navy, which traditionally opera small ships. Although the ships are of German origin, almost all the electronic stuffing in terms of weapons and sensors are Israeli, making the SAR-6 corvettes very good ships armed. These corvettes are 90 meters long and displace less than 2,000 tons. They they were drawn to reduce the radar signature so that it appears like a smaller vessel Toradar's enemies. Its anti-ship armament consists of no less than 16 Gabriel-5 missiles, with a range of more than 200 kilometers. As a comparison, the Type 45 destroyers, which can displace more than 8,000 tons and are the most powerful ships in the British Royal Navy, carry just eight anti-ship missiles. For anti-aircraft defense, the SAR-6 has two vertical launchers with a total of 16 cells for Barak-8 missiles, with a range of 70 kilometers. There are also 40 vertical launch cells for the Sea Dome, the naval version of the Iron Dome. This totals 56 missiles for anti-aircraft defense, which guarantees a great self-protection capacity made up of two layers. As a comparison, the British Type 45 destroyers transport a total of 48 missiles for anti-aircraft defense, 8 less than SAR-6. They are also equipped with a 76mm Italian Odo Malara cannon. This cannon has a rate of 120 rounds per minute, and with the special volcano ammunition it can hit ground targets up to 40 kilometers away, making it a suitable weapon for fire support missions and also short-range anti-aircraft defense. They also have two smaller caliber Typhoon secondary cannons for defense against small surface targets. For anti-submarine warfare, they are equipped with hull sonar and lightweight torpedoes, carried in two triple launchers. They can also board an MH-60 Seahawk naval helicopter, which performs anti-submarine and anti-surface missions. The main sensor of the SAR-6 corvettes is the AESAMF star radar, made up of four flat faces that operate fixedly and have a range of up to 250 kilometers against large aerial targets. This set guarantees SAR-6 a similar capability, but on a smaller scale, to the Aegis system installed on U.S. Navy destroyers. They also have electronic warfare systems and decoys to deflect enemy missiles. SAR-6 had its combat debut recently. In October last year, Following Hamas' attack on Israeli territory, the SAR-6 corvettes were used to attack coastal targets with their 76mm main gun. A few weeks ago a SAR-6-class corvette was also used to successfully intercept a hostile drone in the Red Sea. These corvettes are better armed than most current frigates and even outperform some destroyers. They represent the advancement of technology, which allows even small warships like the SAR-6 to be heavily armed something that was impossible until a few decades ago. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.